Welcome to the last video in the series where I'm going to show you how to run the removable media at boot up and then finish the Ubuntu installation process. So insert either your CD-ROM or USB flash drive, depending on what method you used, into your computer. With your removable media inserted, turn on your computer. Now the first screen that appears when you turn on your computer will quite likely look very different to this. But I'm going to use my one as a demonstration to give you an idea of what you're looking for to be able to boot from your CD-ROM or USB flash drive. Now at the bottom of many boot screens, it will say boot menu with the corresponding button that we have to press beside it. If you do have something similar to this on your boot screen, hit the corresponding button and then select either CD or USB from the menu that appears. However, if you don't have any prompts at the bottom of the boot screen like I do, Click this annotation now to watch my video on how to change the boot order in the BIOS so that you are able to run your removable media at startup and finish the Ubuntu installation. So if you have opened the boot menu and selected either CD-ROM or USB flash drive, it should then bring up the Ubuntu installation. I'm going to be using a virtual machine to demonstrate this so that I can use my screen recorder to keep the video quality high. Okay, so once you've run your removable media, after some loading you'll eventually get to this screen where you can choose the installation language on the side so I'm going to choose English and then you can click install Ubuntu now it's advised for this installation process that you have at least 4.6 gigabytes of available hard drive space if you're using a laptop or netbook to install this make sure it's plugged into a power source and it's ideal if it's connected to the internet so that we can download updates while it's installing so put a checkbox next to download updates while installing and another checkbox next to install this third party software then click the forward button okay we've then got to choose our location so you can place the dot on your location or you can type it in the box here mine's already correct so I'm going to click the forward button You've then got to choose the keyboard layout, so I'm going to choose United Kingdom and United Kingdom again in this second box. And then I'm going to click forward. Okay, you've then got to put in your name. And then pick a username. Now your username must have all lowercase letters, I'll just show you that. If I put in a capital letter, it tells me that I can only start with a lowercase letter so all lowercase for the username and then you do have to put a password in I'll just put that in now and then I'm gonna put a dot in the radio button next to login automatically so I don't think I need the password to log in for my virtual machine then click the forward button once you've filled in all of that information and then once you've done that there's a sort of slideshow while the installation finishes. Doesn't take too long, but if I were you, I wouldn't watch it all the way through. So I'll come back when the installation is finished. Once the installation finishes, it will prompt you to restart your computer to finish the installation process. So click the Restart Now button. it may automatically eject your CD from your CD drive and it may prompt you to take it out of the tray so I'm going to do that now and then I'm hitting enter as it's told me to I can choose to boot into Windows 7 or Ubuntu so I'm going to select Ubuntu And there we go, Ubuntu has been installed successfully. I hope that from watching this video series, you have been able to successfully install Ubuntu. If you found my video series useful, please like, comment, favourite and subscribe. And if you want, you could do the same for all of the other videos in the series, especially part 1. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.